Hey, what's up everyone? It's Asad here. Welcome back to the 52 Quartz channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you an incredibly easy trick, one of the easiest tricks I know. However, it makes you appear as if you are incredibly skillful. It's a lot of fun to do, uh, very impressive. And uh, yeah, let's go behind the card table. I'll give you a demonstration of what it looks like and then I will teach you how to do it. All right, so here's how the trick goes. Uh, to start off, we just need two random cards from the deck. So in this case, let's just pull out this one and this one, that should be fine. Uh, we got the red seven and the red eight. Now here's the idea. I'm gonna very cleanly, very fairly lose each of these cards into separate parts of the deck. We can spread out to show that they clearly are. Some are lost in the middle and then very slowly push them completely in. No funny moves, no nothing, just like that. Okay, so here's the idea. I'm gonna find those cards again, but um, I'm gonna do it under some pretty difficult conditions. I'll do it one-handed, I'll do it without my eyes, and I'll try to find both of them in like a split second. Okay, so that's a pretty bold claim, but here, let's see if I can back it up. So, one hand. Actually, if I had a spectator in front of me, I would, at this point I would ask them, to kind of hold their hands out like this as if they were a table. In this case, I'll just use the actual table. So one hand, uh, no eyes, and within just a split second, if I did this right, just like that, we got the cards back. All right, the method for this is extremely simple. Once you see the setup, this is gonna become uh, very obvious to you what's going on. For those of uh, your spectators who are extremely observant, they may not fall for this, but this will fool plenty of people who aren't really paying too close attention. So here's the setup. <clears throat> We're gonna take out, uh, the exact cards don't matter. I like to use seven, eight, and the red ones, and then you also need to pull out the other pair. Okay, and you wanna group them so that the suits differ. So you want to pair the heart with the diamond and then the heart with the diamond here. Okay. Uh, I think you can see where this is going. Uh, the first pair, you're going to place one on top, one on the bottom. And then the second pair goes on top. All right. You're ready to begin. The first step is to make it appear as if you're just pulling out two random cards. Okay. Now you can do this however you want. I usually will do like a false cut of some sort. This is a very simple false cut. Probably the easiest uh, one that I know of. Just take the top third, place it here, place the middle here, place the bottom third here, and then you're gonna just pick them back up in the same order. You know, if you do it casually and with the rhythm, you know, it just totally looks like you're cutting the deck a few times. Really, it just keeps the whole deck intact. And then to pull out the two cards, uh, one other thing that you may wanna do, you don't have to, at this point, you can just take off the top two cards and just say, let's use these cards right here. Another little added subtlety that you might wanna do to make it appear a little more random is you can swing cut about half the cards like this, and then you turn your left hand or the cards in your left hand kind of uh, perpendicular, and then you just do a tap, you drop the remaining right hand, and then you pull out. So it makes it look like you're just, uh, if you do that speed, it looks like you're just kind of pulling those cards out from the middle of the deck, and then you place the remaining cards on top. Just a little extra touch, you don't have to do it, it's completely optional. And then here's kind of a, a key point. You're gonna flash these two cards, you're gonna show them, but you're not gonna show them for too long. Okay, you don't wanna call attention to the exact identities of these cards. You're just gonna say, let's see what we have here. Okay, red seven and red eight, that's perfect. You let them see it for a second, two seconds, three seconds, whatever, and then you wanna turn them back over. You don't want them to like scrutinize these cards and remember the exact value to suit um, combination, right? So you flash them, you turn them back, palm down, you explain that you're gonna very fairly, very cleanly lose them into the middle of the deck at very different locations. You can spread it out if you want. And you you wanna milk this. You don't wanna, you wanna stress the fact that you're just completely losing them into the middle of the deck, very slowly uh, push them in, emphasize the fact that you're not doing any funny moves or anything, so it appears impossible for you to find those cards. Then you do the pattern, you say, look, I'm gonna find them, but I'm gonna make it, or I'm gonna do it in a, hopefully an impressive way. Okay, uh, one-handed, no eyes, and I'll do it in just like a fraction of a second. You know, they may not believe you because it sounds too good to be true, but then you say, okay, look, let's back it up. And then there's one more move, I would hardly even consider a move that you're gonna do, 
But keep in mind that the other pair is on the top and the bottom. So all you have to do is you're gonna hold the deck like this, one-handed, you could put your other hand behind your back if you wanted to, or just use it to cover your eyes. You're gonna say, look, I'm gonna do this blind. And then here's the move, really. It's kind of fun to do this in the spectator's hand if uh, you're standing up. You just uh, hold the deck above their hands, and then all you're gonna do is you're tossing the deck. You're moving your right hand uh, to the right very quickly, and you're allowing kind of gravity to pull the rest of the deck down. And uh, that was not a great example. Let's try that again. Really what's happening is you're just up squeezing the deck a little bit, and because the top and bottom card are the only cards that are contacting your fingers, they're gonna stay behind in your hand, and the rest of the deck is just gonna fall, or it's gonna slip out, okay? And you wanna do this fast. You don't wanna make it obvious that those cards are coming from the top and bottom, but if you do it fast enough, who knows where they're coming from, right? It just looks like you're producing them uh, immediately, and it's actually very impressive, very cool looking thing and it hardly requires any practice at all. So you're just gonna hold it here, and then very quickly, you may wanna go like move it, uh, go the here, go here for a second and then pull back. Um, just play around with it. You know, it's really not gonna take much practice. You just wanna make sure you do it fast, okay? And then you kind of milk the reveal. You say, look, just like that. And then you reveal the cards. And again, for most people, this is totally gonna fly and they're gonna assume that these are the exact same cards that they just saw a second ago and that you lost in the middle of the deck. And very impressive, it makes you look like a, a master card, master of card control and uh, uh, you know, just a very skillful individual. So I hope you like that trick. Uh, give it a try, it's just gonna take a few minutes for you to learn. It's a ton of fun to do and, uh, and very impressive. If you like this video, please do give it a like. It helps the algorithm out. Leave a comment down below. That also helps. And uh, if you want to learn more, check out 52cards.com. If you want to sign up for that Intro to Card Magic course, which is completely free, uh, it's to help you beginners out there. Link will be down below for that as well. Till next time, I will see you later. Peace.